Hello everyone! So today's video I'm going to bring you a um, what's on my iPhone and decorating my iPhone 11 video. I'm testing this out on my new phone because I wanted to see how the video was and it's pretty good so far. I just have a hard time looking at the camera. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's just a quick introduction of what this video is. Um, I was due for an upgrade and I had to switch plans anyway. Um, you know, finally got off my parents' uh, phone plan at 31 years old. Um, but yeah, so um, I got the new iPhone 11 in the mint green. I was thinking about getting the purple, but like everybody has the purple. So I went for the mint green, which I think was a solid choice. So yeah, this is just a little video of me decorating my iPhone 11 and showing you what is on my phone. So enjoy. So the two things that I bought to um, protect my phone is these, um, I guess, tempered glass screen protectors um they just came up as recommended on amazon um and then i got this clear case um off of amazon also it was super cheap um and it will allow me to decorate my phone the way i want to so first off i put on the um tempered glass um screen protector is the word i was looking for um i I think the last two phones I've had didn't really have screen protectors on them and I've cracked both of them like not too bad just a little bit so um, I really needed a screen protector on this one so hopefully um, I don't crack this phone I got insurance on this phone though so hopefully that'll help me out if I do accidentally crack it I really don't like cracking my phone but anyway um, so I was just following the directions on here um, you know getting all the dirt and stuff off of it um and drying it off and then very carefully putting this screen protector on it was very nerve-wracking <laughs> to me because um i didn't want to put it on wrong and then have to use another one it came three in a pack but i also did not want to have to redo it So I got it on there pretty good. Um, so I just kind of let it let it sit. All right, so then we are going to decorate. So I've already planned out how I am going to decorate this. So you're just gonna see me putting it all together. Um, I just cleaned it off a little bit with the um, leftover things from the screen protector just to make sure it's nice and clean before I put everything on there. Um, I was going for like kind of a cute vibe um for this i kind of just found a lot of stickers that i had washi tape and um printed off some pictures so that that kind of were felt like me or things that i liked um that i felt went together so yeah we're just gonna kind of slap those all together um so the first thing i did is i put down this space galaxy washi tape with the silver stars on it and i just taped this directly to the phone um it was too like floppy to get like to just lay on there and i was like it's just washi tape it's not super sticky tape so i just went ahead and <laughs> threw it on there i did cut it the wrong way so it doesn't exactly match up but i think the stickers i put on um later will make up for that so i did use it uh twice once going down on the bottom and once going up on the top or like up and down but a little bit at just an angle um didn't want to cover the whole thing in it because i still wanted to see the color because i really like the color of this phone it's super cute so the next things are just some like succulent stickers that i got from a sticker pack from kawaii pen shop and just kind of throw those down there because i feel like cacti are kind of my thing <laughs> um and just some boba tea a gg some unicornos relakuma that sort of thing i left sort of the middle open in case i wanted to put a pop socket on there um 
I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to do that, but I wanted that option to be available. So I didn't want to cover up any of the stickers really with a pop socket. So I just laid those all on there and snapped the cover on. Super simple and everything stays in place because it's super tight. I think things moved around a little bit, but nothing too, too um, drastic. So everything's a little bit perpendicular, but you know, we're gonna live with it. Um, so then I have these clear 3D space stickers that I'm gonna put on the outside of the cover. Um, so I really wanted to use these, but you know, they're 3D, so the cover wouldn't fit very well. But they're also kind of clear, so that worked out pretty well um, with it on the outside of it, so I didn't really cover up anything. So I've got some planets and a moon and a star and a few other stars that I um, speckle around. To be honest, um, some of these stickers worked better than others uh, a few weeks out now. Um, the edges have kind of frayed a little bit on them or come up a little bit, but generally um, it's pretty good. I also left the center um, free of these, so in case I wanted to put a pop socket on there again, um, so I can hold my phone <laughs> that way. So yeah, that's pretty much my uh, whole phone being decorated. <laughs> Um, I did end up putting uh, another sticker on there, but um, another star sticker on there, but you know, it's okay. I think it looks super cute and I am totally in love with the way that this looks. All right, so now that I've got my phone all super cute and decorated, I'm gonna show you kind of what's on my phone. More of like how it's organized than how like every single app on there. I'm gonna kind of show you the categories and maybe highlight a few apps. So first off, my home screen, or my, yeah, my home screen, my wallpaper is of my favorite Japanese idol, Kato Shigiaki from the idol group News. He has been my one true idol love since um, so many years ago, uh, like 14, 13, 14, 15 years, something like that, insane like that. Um, so I love this photo of him and um, it's been on my phone for a long time, so I just, I just love it. It's so pleasing to look at. So we're gonna go into the phone, and the background I have on my phone is actually from Monica Kim. I'm one of her, like, Patreon supporters, and this was a, like, wallpaper that she provided for her Patreon patrons. Patrons. Um, so it's a super cute strawberry summery sort of wallpaper. So the way my phone is set up is kind of basic. Um, I don't have a lot of pages, but I have a lot of folders. Um, my home screen, I have Chrome as my main browser that I like to use. Um, I used to have Safari until kind of recently, but um, Chrome syncs with all my stuff on my computer. So yeah, I know Safari interfaces with the um, the phone a little bit better, but I like using Chrome. Um, I do have both the mail and the Gmail app um, with different email addresses in it. I just have too many um, email addresses for various reasons, so I have to have two apps to kind of keep them straight. Um, the rest of my home screen is just music and phone. It's been the same pretty much the whole time I've had an iPhone since like the 3GS. So, you know, the first app that I want to talk about um, is Clue. <laughs> um, so that is my period tracking app. Um, it is one of the best apps I've ever had. Um, I really, really enjoy it and you should definitely use it if you are a person who has a period. So the next app I want to talk about is this app, Japanese app. It's just called Japanese. It was called, it's like it was like $10 on the app store and I got it forever ago. And it's basically the best Japanese dictionary that I found um, in the app store. Um, it's also completely offline. So if you don't have an internet connection, you can still use it. And it's super, super handy. You can copy text and paste it and it will help you look up kanji and words. It's got um, lots of different study guides and um, ways to look up stuff. I mean, you've got um, 
all of the kana and then kanji separated by kind of like um i guess groups so rankings um there's also word list for jlpt levels which is super handy so like for n4 this is um most of the list there um so that's super handy if you're studying for jlpt um then you can also create lists of like maybe commonly used words or make your own study list i don't have anything saved on here um i haven't used that feature in a long time um and then there's also a like kind of flashcard game like a anki sort of thing um where you can study um flashcards and it tracks your progress um i haven't used it in a while um so it reset my progress or when i got the new phone it reset my progress i don't know either one um and then you can also search stuff um obviously because it is a a dictionary you can type in english um and look up the japanese word and you can also um search by like romanji um type it in that way and i'm trying to find my keyboard and um it's it was much easier than cycling through everything i found out um but yeah you can just look up the word so i was looking up jisho here which means dictionary and it gives you all of the results and you can find which word you need. So you, when you click on it, it gives you the definition, the kanji readings, um, examples on how to use it. It'll give you conjugations, um, colloquial ways, the JLPT um, category it goes in. So it's super, super helpful app. Um, Humanity is a scheduling app for work. Um, this folder, I have all of my social media, pretty boring. The next folder is my creative folder. It used to be called photography, but there's some other stuff in there that's not photography. Um, so I don't really use Lightroom that often. I don't, I'm having an issue with my login, um, but I use Afterlight a lot um, to edit photos. Pins has a lot of really great um, filters that I like to use. And then um, Pixar, I mostly use on my um, iPad, but it's good to have on here. Um, Preview is an app that I use to kind of see how photos look in my Instagram feed. So you can upload them and it'll kind of give you a sense of what your Instagram, the picture will look like in your Instagram feed. Um, this Instax one is actually a printer app for this Instax Polaroid printer I have. So I can print off pictures from my phone onto little Polaroids um, and it's super great and I love it and the one of the best things I've ever bought. Um, and then just some random other apps. Fonts is something new that I downloaded um, for something a little more fun. I don't know. Um, it just seems like a cool app so I got it. Then I have my books app. So I have Overdrive and Libby for my library. I use those for audiobooks, getting those from my library. I also have Audible, um, which I don't have a subscription to right now. Um, and then Scribd for audiobooks, Goodreads, obviously, Bookwalker for manga, too. Um, the next folder I have is kind of just store apps, things to buy. Um, then I also have a folder for finance. It's things like PayPal and Venmo and my bank that I'm not going to go into just because that's a little more personal. Um, then I have an entertainment thing, which has my YouTube, Spotify, anything that I can watch. There's also this app here for, um, Joy Sound Karaoke, which is a controller for a karaoke app, um, for the Nintendo Switch, which is really cool and I love it a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then guidebook I use a lot for conventions, for schedules and things like that. Next up, the games. I really don't have a lot of games. There's a Dan and Phil 7 second challenge that I'm never going to delete. And then just like weird puzzle games and pocket camp. Um, I don't really play a ton of games on my phone. Next up, I have kind of a health folder. This has like things like um, the health app, my activity monitor for my Apple Watch, which doesn't have anything in it right now because my Apple Watch is broken. Um, Couch to 5K, my fitness pal, stuff like that. Um, then just like random 
things, um, files and things like that. Um, then I have, um, a folder for lifestyle, which is really just home buying apps. <laughs> um, good notes, which I downloaded on my iPad and really I'm just going to use on my iPad, but I downloaded it recently, so it's there. And then happy light is for some, um, Bluetooth controlled lights I bought recently. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that is pretty much it. Another thing that I'm super into right now is shortcuts. Um, so those are like little things you can program into your phone that, um, let you do things really quickly. Um, so I have like a speed dial for my boyfriend, a way to log water, um, and I have one for like calculating a tip. So you click on it and then you can like put in how much the bill was and then how much tip you want to put in. And then it gives you the tip and your total amount with the tip. So that's really cool and handy and um, super into shortcuts. So if you know any shortcuts um, that are super useful, I would love to know. Um, I do have this other one that I kind of created. I kind of modified somebody else's. Um, but it's a way to pull up a, some YouTube videos that I use when I like study or read. Um, so I think I called it study time and I click on it and I can pick which one I want. Um, and then it gives me a link to YouTube and it opens it up. Um, so I can listen to that video. It's mostly just like atmospheric anime music. Um, but yeah. That is pretty much everything that is on my iPhone. I hope you liked this little tour of my phone. I know it wasn't super interesting, but um, I've been watching a lot of these videos lately. So yeah, um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, um, I guess, or if you want to see book and manga and nerdy content from me. That is all I've got for you guys today. I'm Chrissy Lou. Till next time, matane!